All right, we got another noteworthy. Why are you playing a sad uh, music bed? Normally we, normally we do that for, for uh, noteworthy. Uh, oh, okay. All right, this is a, this is um, yeah, this is a good one. <sighs> ah, all right, here we go. This one's called "Wait for Sex." Y'all ready for this? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A track stars, a co worker at my job told me about you guys, and I heard a noteworthy about a guy giving up porn for a girl, and I like the advice you gave him, so here's my situation. I'm in my early 20s, and I just got in a same sex relationship. He is very nice, and I like him a lot, but he keeps pressuring me to have sex with him. But I told him I wanted to wait to have sex until I got married because I'm a Christian. He said he can wait for me, but he doesn't know how long he can wait for me. So my dilemma is, should I follow the Bible and wait until we get married? Or should I just give in to him? I really need your help because this can take our relationship to another level that I'm not really ready for. So what should I do? Wait for sex. What do y'all think? <laughs> That's the stomper. This, uh, this was like, this hit me hard. Duh, duh. Um, and I want to I wanna start with this. Obviously, and I, I appreciate your coworker for, for, you know, showing you these noteworthies. And I appreciate your question, man. Like, I could tell from your note that you have a heart for God. You want to you wanna please God. Yeah. And, and that's what struck me the most. It was like, man. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though. Uh, we have to address your relationship first. Um, and this is something that a lot of people have been afraid to talk about, um, especially recently. Um, a lot of high profile people have shied away from this topic because the grounds to talk for this topic, to talk about this topic have gotten a lot shakier recently. Um, but I would call it a blessing for us to not be so, so popular that we have to be afraid of anything. Yeah. So this is a perfect position for us to be in. Now, I don't know what your understanding of these things are or, you know, what you were taught, but we have to address the same sex part of this relationship. Um, we believe that in the Bible, it um, says that homosexuality is wrong. And um, we think that's pretty well laid out um, in the Bible. Um, and there's several passages that talk about it. So what is interesting to me about your question is that you obviously care about that, which is great because I don't know anybody who, well, there's a few people, but I don't know many people who would want to wait to have sex to marriage um, that didn't have a heart for God or want, had a desire to please him. But if you do have a desire to please him, um, the issue is, is that the Bible, as well as saying wait till have sex till marriage, also says that a relationship with the same sex is, uh, it calls it shameful. Um, it calls it, it calls it a lot of negative things. Um, and I just want to make sure that we aren't irresponsible with your question. It, will, it would be irresponsible of us to not really tell you what we believe about the situation you're in because if you really do want to please god you have to address that part first <laughs> anybody want to I'll, I'll do it myself if you want to but um it's, it's touchy for us but i mean it's the truth so who wants to get into it i was just gonna say um just i i'm right there with shantana like I, what touched me the most about the your letter was the fact that like it really came from a very heartfelt place where it was like you know, I'm really torn. I really want to please God. Um, but, I, you know, I'm in this relationship and I want to, you know, I, I want to stay in this relationship. And so I, I think what came across to me was that it's challenging at times for you to take a stand for the word of God versus what other people may want or even how you may feel. And I feel like at the root of all of this, whether we're talking about you being in a same sex re um, relationship or waiting to have sex um, until marriage, at the end of the day, you've got to place your love for God and his word 
over and above what society deems is okay and over and above even what people around you or people that say they care about you even want you know that's what being a christian is about where you love him supremely which means you don't just say you love him but you love him over and above anyone or anything else even at times over and above what you want or what you think or what you feel it's placing his word and pleasing him above all of that and so i just want to challenge you in that because that's a hard road to walk for any believer but I sense from your letter that you have a desire to do that. And I really want to encourage you in doing that. It's not going to be easy, but I can tell you God is going to honor it. I know he's going to honor it if you make that decision. Why righteous? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this kind of hits home for me because I have a friend who's um, gay and he wanted to follow God. But he did tell me that he felt like God hated him. And I had to go through, uh, you know, this was a friendship that lasted at least two years. So I, I had to go through, you know, different things of what God accepts in his life and what God rejects in his life. And it just boiled down to us having to have that real conversation that, you know, um, what, he, what he wanted to do, which was be with other men. Um, was looked at as a sin and he had to if he wanted to please God he had to try to overcome those feelings you know and it's not easy it's not easy when you tell someone not to feel something if somebody told me you just can't love your wife that would be hard for me you know right. so it does it does take a, a strong person to look themselves in the mirror and say I'm going to fight what my flesh wants and go after and seek after the things of God. You know, you look at this situation and you and you know it can be done because there are monks that have dedicated their life to Christ. You know, every waking minute of their life is spent in prayer, it's spent in um, and devotion, and it can be done. You know, you don't have to feel cut off from the world just because you choose to go against, you know, your innermost feeling, which is probably what you're you're experiencing right now. So, you know, um, it's hard to tell you, it's hard to tell anyone to, to pray and ask for deliverance from something that they may not feel is wrong. But at the end of the day, you know, Shantana's right. We have to be responsible um, and, and let you know that it is something that God has being not okay and we as you know respectful to the word have to say the things that a lot of churches won't say to you um a lot of pastors won't talk about in the pulpit on national tv in the media um because it seems like it's a, a lifestyle that is widely and openly accepted yeah. um and that can be, and it can be tricky to get caught up in thinking that something that you're doing that the world is okay with is okay with God. It can it can be very tricky. And so you just have to be careful and mindful that, that you know, these things, you set your sights uh, on Christ. And it's above all things. He's above all things. So are, are we basically saying to the young man, get out the relationship and like really seek the Lord? really like see god i mean yeah I mean, what are we what are we saying to the young man yeah because this this may come as a surprise because his core question is a good question like how do you wait to have sex till marriage mm -hmm. now that is a whole discussion onto itself it's something that um i had to battle with before i got married and you know there's there's it's, there's a journey there there's there's pain there's there's a lot of um it's a lot of disappointment there and because you have because you're willing to go through that for God, I don't think this will be too big of a jump for you. This, this is what I'm. If I was, if he was sitting right here, you are. You already understand sacrifice. You already understand giving up your natural desires for God, and where a lot of people have trouble with that. A lot of people struggle saying, "If I want to do it and it feels right to me in my heart, and I love the person and all this kind of stuff," they can't imagine sacrificing that for God. They can't imagine it. But 
he sounds like he he's willing to do that mm. so we're coming from a different place with that um first you have to decide in your heart whether you agree with the scripture there's a lot of people who still claim to be strong christians and all that kind of stuff and they say that being gay is not wrong they they think it's fine they they argue against um sodom and gomorrah they argue against romans um 118 they they argue against corinthians 6 9 and first timothy they are leviticus they argue against all the passages that somebody would use to say hey homosexuality is wrong um and i went back through all of those and i and i tried to say okay just from a blank slate just read these what do they say without any bias in your mind and to me i can understand all the arguments but Romans 1 18 um, is no joke solid I, I can't even if I I'm, I'm the kind of person y'all know I could argue against myself in an argument I could I could play devil's advocate on anything yes reading that I can't it's clear man it's clear and I think if, if you can honestly read that and there, there'll be people in your life or on TV or on the internet that will argue against that verse too. And I, I, I feel that, you know, um, but please read that, read the whole chapter and tell me that it doesn't mean exactly what it says. I, I can't see a way out of it. So now it comes down to a point of the people who would say that homosexuality, homosexuality and gay marriage is okay. They have to get around that passage and honestly, it sounds like a reach. It sounds like I want this so bad, it has to be right. And I would just caution you um, before you go down that path, because I know this is going to be hard. I remember wanting to have sex before I got married. And I remember justifying it. I remember weighing pros and cons. I remember being like, how come everybody else gets to do it? I, I remember coming up with every reason. I read verses over and over and over again, trying to say, does this really, really mean that I can't have sex before marriage? Like I was desperate. But the thing is, it always came back to no matter how bad I want this, I can't have it. And I have to respect that. And that's the that's the decision I'm hoping you could come to even in the midst of the the wave of culture that says it's okay you still have to make a decision that says you know what god if i decide that this is right i'll be going against it, it would feel like i'm going against the bible mm -hmm. it seems pretty clear and um i could i could finagle this to do what i wanted to do but taking it in as it is i can't do that um and even if these people have a point um the one message i got that change my life is if you have a doubt about whether or not god hates something don't do it mm -hmm. because you don't i never want to accidentally offend my savior and there were things like that where it came to you know drinking or having sex before marriage where it was like i could finagle those verses to to say that i could do it you know i could finagle them if i really wanted to to say i could have sex before marriage or you know do whatever but the fact that I had to finagle it in the first place made me doubt it. It mm -hmm. made me say, you know what? I don't know if God is really happy with that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'd rather I'd rather miss out on something I can do than do something that I shouldn't have done. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather be on that side of the line and be like, man, I could have I could have I could have smoked weed. I could have smoked weed. You know what I mean? I'd rather I'd mm -hmm. rather be on that side of man I could have than dang I wish I didn't. Mm -hmm. That's just I mean yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So I mean, it's tough, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. What it is. You can't. You can't really keep I can't saying. Get around there. I can't you get can't around. really keep saying stuff. So I think the. I think at the end of the day, what we're saying is that we. We of course what we said about homosexuality, but we're also saying to the young man that you, um, it's a better way. That's what we're saying. There's a better way. It's a better way. Yeah. And we all on agreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in the group. Okay. I'm just making sure that we all on the same page. So we're basically saying to the young man, get out the relationship. You, have, one thing I was telling her that I feel like um, the stance of waiting is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's that's great. But I think, like you said, man, like I mean, you said it perfectly. 
and you keep saying it, it's like beating a dead horse. It's, you you know, we had to address that. And I think you addressed it very well, speaking for all of us. Right. Um, and, if you, and if you're in a camp where you're like, you know, and you're listening, and hopefully this, this uh, young man, early 20s, um, understands what we're saying. Hopefully he gets that. But if you're in a camp of, man, I, I'm not in that boat. I just really am trying to wait to have sex until marriage. Um, we've talked about that several times over the years. So I encourage you to go back into the archives of Trackstars, trackstarsradio.com, and look at what we've said about purity before marriage and all those things. There's a lot of great tips in there um, that you can lean on um, that we, we shared our advice on this. And we could talk about it again in the future, but I don't want to leave those people out if they were hoping for some advice when they saw the title wait, Waiting for Sex. But um, we, we couldn't, we, could, we would be doing it injustice if we didn't talk to him about what's really going on. So. I uh, hope that helps, man. I know that's probably not what you were looking for, but um, it's the truth, man. So we're praying for you. Hopefully Absolutely. that'll, hopefully that'll do something to your heart, yeah. and then you won't get mad. I mean, you may get mad, but hopefully at at some point you'll settle and you'll realize that we're not. I have no motivation to lie to you about this. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Call me stupid or or ill informed if you want to, but I have no motivation to lie to you. I really want you to to win in this situation. So, all right. Let's know where you in the field with the track stars. Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.